Hello all, this video is on implementing Arduino core onto STM32 blue pill module. This STM32 uh, blue pill module is built on ARM Cortex M3 STM32 F103 C8 microcontroller. This has got USB micro USB socket, two boot jumpers and 8 megahertz crystal and then 32.768 uh, crystal oscillator and uh, uh, serial wire debug pins. This microcontroller uh, has a capacity of flash 128KB and a RAM 20KB, clock speed up to 72 MHz. By two methods we can upload Arduino code onto STM32 blue pill. One is through UART1. This UART1 pin is at uh, PA9 and PA10. There are three UARTs. Uh, out of which we will be using UART1 only. UART1 is capable of uploading through serial. For this you need a USB to TTL module. I am using here a USB to TTL module built on CP2102. USB upload is also possible which is for another video. At the top uh, you will see uh, four pins. This is the ST-Link header pin through which uh, you can also upload code. For this you need ST-Link debugger. The STM32 blue pill is uh, breadboard friendly. You can easily plug it onto your breadboard. And the connection to USB to TTL is simple. Only 4 wires required. Uh, you can use the 5 volt uh, pin and connect it to 5 volt of USB to TTL and ground to ground. The sixth pin from uh, bottom is the PA9 which is TX. This goes to RX of USB to TTL and the seventh pin is PA10 that is the RX pin which goes to TX of USB to TTL. No separate power source is required. When you plug on the USB to PC it will supply the uh, voltage. You can see the yellow line in the diagram in the background. Uh, with these all pins are 5 volt tolerant so you can safely use this usb to ttl device now shift the boot 0 jumper to position 1 you can see two jumpers the top one is boot 0 and the bottom one is boot 1 shift the boot 0 to position 1 and then plug the usb to ttl uh, device to the pc now the uh, power led will light up now press the reset switch the device is ready for uh, USB uh, UART upload. Open the device manager and under ports you will see the COM port allotted to the USB to TTL device. For this you should have uh, uh, installed the CP2102 driver. To install Arduino core open the Arduino IDE and under file preferences at the bottom you paste, the, paste this link. The link is given in the description. Copy using Ctrl C and then paste with Ctrl V. If you already see some other link, for example, if you had uh, installed Node MCU, you will see a link already. In this case, you put a comma and then uh, use Ctrl V to paste the new link. Now, under Tools Board Boards Manager, uh, you search for STM32 F1. For this, you need internet connection search for stm32 f1 and then select the stm duno latest version to install it it will take some time to install now uh, reopen the arduino ide and under tools boards you can see the variants of uh, stm32 devices select the board as uh, stm32 f103 c and variant as 128k flash most of the stm32 blue pill or 128k flash uh, uh, flash rom so select 128k cpu speed is default 72 megahertz and upload method you should select as serial this is very important as yes, different methods of upload uh, is possible you select serial you can see a serial st link bootloader uh, out of this you select serial now you open the blink sketch yeah, under examples 
ஹியர் யூ டு ஆட் ஒன் டெஃபினேஷன் தட் இஸ் த பில்ட் இன் எல்இடி இஸ் அட் பிசி தேர்ட்டீன் ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் டு டிஃபைன் திஸ் யூ கேன் சி ஃப்ரம் த டயக்ராம் பிசி தேர்ட்டீன் ஆஸ் இன்புல் இன்பில்ட் எல்இடி ஸோ ஆட் திஸ் லைன் டிஃபைன் எல்இடி பில்ட் இன் பிசி தேர்ட்டீன் சேவ் திஸ் ஃபைல் and then click on upload the led at pc 13 will blink uh, accordingly that is uh, when uh, when input is low led will glow up and input is high led will uh, will be off now the code is being uploaded you can see memory being erased and then the uh, new code is being uploaded now the led will blink according to the delay implemented one second uh, delay you can see the built in led blinking now you can uh, replace the boot zero jumper back to the normal position and then press the reset switch for normal operation for second code upload again you have to place the boot zero jumper to one position press the reset and then upload the new code now we will see the second method using st link uh, debugger using this st link debugger you can upload code through the serial wire debug which is characteristic of this stm32 blue pill device the this st link uh, dongle is very cheap compared to the original st link debugger the connection between the st link dongle and the stm32 blue pill is simple four wires are required we will be using the bottom row of st link debugger the pin 2 of st link is sw clk which goes to d clk of the stm32 blue pill pin 4 is sw dio which goes to dio of stm32 pin 6 is ground which goes to ground and pin 8 is 3.3 volt this this goes to 3.3 volt of stm32 now plug in the st link dongle to the pc there is no need of shifting the jumper to uh, position 1 it should be in normal position only for your uh, upload we need this jumper shifting for uh, st st link method no need of shifting the jumpers now you have to install the st link driver visit the link in the description below and then provide your uh, name and uh, email id to download the uh, driver software once the driver so driver is uh, downloaded unzip the file and then select the correct version whether 64 bit or 8 bit according to your pc and then double click to install the st link uh, driver is being installed now once the driver is installed open the device manager and see the stm32 st link device shown here now the device is ready open the arduino ide and under tools board boards manager select the stm32 f103c uh, device and the upload method as st link previously we selected the serial method now it is st link method the port will be grayed out as we are not using the uart the port is not uh, shown here uh, use the same example as in uh, uh, last uh, serial upload where the pc13 led is defined as led built in and click on upload now the code is being uploaded and you can see the led blinking accordingly while using this st link you need not uh, shift the boot jumpers uh, directly you can upload enjoy the speed of uh, as a 32 bit stm using Arduino IDE. Thank you for watching.